I'm live. Hello. Hi. Uh, I figured what better way to do a humongous jewelry unboxing and to go live. I haven't gone live in like live in like a week to do this, so I figured why not? Let's go. Let's go crazy. And it's still 11 a.m. my time, and uh, I'm still drinking my coffee. Um, let's just get right to it. Let's get crazy, right? Um, I actually got Moonstone Papa hooked on Shop Goodwill. It's a slippery slope, that Shop Goodwill. Uh, but nonetheless, I got him hooked. This right here, this delicious box, is six pounds of jewelry and accessories. Hi, hi. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to pull up my chat really quick on my phone uh, so that I could see what everyone is saying to me, if anyone's here. Um, and uh, we'll have some fun. Go ahead and turn down my volume. Ugh. As always, when I do, because there's no water in there, when I do an unboxing, I have my ruler and I have a magnet to see if anything picks up silver tone. I have my scissors and I have my loop, which I definitely recommend this loop um, to anyone interested. This one's actually a broken one, not because of the faulty stuff, but because it's not three-year-old tested. Yeah, it's it's not childproof. <laughs> my daughter got to this, so anyways. Hi, hi, Deb. Hi, hi, Michelle. Um so I have this six pound box. There's the loop in all of its glory. Jar link, jar link loop. I like it because it has a light. And sometimes when you're looking for that itty bitty little thing, you can't see it and the light really helps. So as always, I love to open my stuff. This is a unopened box. I like to open it on camera with you guys so that you know that I am not adding my boxes. So I'm going to adjust my camera. So you can see me erping and nerp my box. And at any time, and guys, I hope you like my shirt. I love trailer trash. Tammy. Um, and I had to uh, purchase her merch because she's literally my spirit animal. So here I am, Miss America, opening up my box. So I did get a little packing sheet in here. And then here's your first glance at the, the box. Packing sheet, I'm going to make sure that our address isn't on here, so I'm not flashing it. So Moonstone Papa purchased this lot for $9.99. So a total with shipping. 27 bucks. So I like to show this kind of information just to give a general idea of what my whole resale value is for this. I'm not a big reseller, um, but I do enjoy reselling. So I hope to make at least $27 plus some on this. So yes. Um, so there was a bag here and I didn't pick this out. He did. And then there's a lot of stuff here. So um, this may be a long unboxing, but it looks fun. And let's just uh, let's just see how it goes. So I've got this. Uh, looks like a lot of child's costume, but you never know until uh, you get in here, right? So let's get cracking. <laughs> okay. okay, so. We have an anklet with a little shell here. This is nice. This is still on the, the card. We got this, which looks like a lot of costume. I like these. These are cute. Um... A bag and a bag. Bags and a bags always scare me when I do unboxings. So I'm like, what are they hiding? 
These are cute, actually. So these two from Claire's, both look like they're the same. They said they're going for Claire's European distribution is what it says in the back here. Hi, Susan. So these are both teardrop shape. This one has a really pretty purple iridescence and this one has a really pretty emerald green iridescence and has a little bubble wrap. So fun, fun, fun. This is a stretch and it has a little princess. I'm sure my daughter would enjoy that. <laughs> and this is a, oh my gosh, they're earrings. These are really cool. I like these. I would wear them. They look like they're all from the same. Oh, no, they're not. So this one is originally $12.99. And these are actually really cool. I like these. They go like this, I guess. This stars would have been my jam in high school. Um, this would have definitely been a pair that I would have purchased. Really good condition. Really nice. I mean, this one says you and I fashion. 52 cents, rose gold in color. And then we have these, which definitely mod, definitely cool. Love them a lot, actually. And just because they're on a Claire's card doesn't necessarily mean they're from Claire's. Maybe. Got some, ooh, a nose ring. Cool. My um, sister-in-law, or should be sister-in-law by now, um, but is not, um, no has a nose piercing. <laughs> and this is actually sterling silver, so that works. I would love to get my nose pierced. I've had my nose pierced a couple of times before, but um, they just don't heal well for me. Here is, I have like little... Um, Con faux confetti lucite. <laughs> They're like confetti and enameling of those like bar silver tone. Very cute. And of course, like I've mentioned in even my last unboxing, if there's anything you see, just screenshot it, send me an email and I'll give you a reasonable price for them. I got these. These are hot and poppin'. They're not missing any. These are statement gold tone. Love it so much. Hot, hot, hot. Bye yeah. Ooh, some more. I think the world's trying to tell me, Devin, pierce your nose. There is six, all nine two five. Very cool. Ooh, kitty bangles. Pink basketballs. Everyone needs a good ball bracelet around your wrist. Some more, more. A lot of these, you know, I'm going to have to go through and see about putting them in the craft lot or maybe even junking them to say. But again, this was not purchased by me. This was purchased by the lovely Moonstone Papa. As filler. As filler. <laughs> I'm, um, as you probably know, because of the whole here. pandemic situation, I'm kind of low on inventory of stuff. These are cute. Love those. So took a month my gracious it. husband decided to help me out. Hi, Texas Sparkle. These are so cute. Um, and purchased this lot for me. And uh, yeah. Ooh, I'm going to show my daughter this. Frozen. She'll love this. Of course, when I clean it. Got some more of these earrings. Very mod, very fun, very love them so much. Um, and so we still have quite a bit of the, the bag, but I'm I'm low on supplies uh, because I haven't been able to hit up my my favorite locations to get really great deals. These are cute. These are a lot of cute ones. Um, so any little bit helps at this time and he did me a super solid love these colors turquoise love it these are like um thanks there's moon so papa's hand these are like uh flowers <laughs> and then some more so we got some doubles these are these are popping i love these and we got one attached to it which is oh four 
Do you like Christmas? Like, but I think it's missing a rhinestone on one of them. Like festive. Festive. Ooh. Okay, so we got some more of these. We got more of these. So maybe I'll do. And I opened up an eBay. I was so hesitant to open up an eBay just because I've had nothing but bad experiences about him. Here's another nose as a buyer. Ring. Right as a buyer, yeah. And um, I've heard horror stories. And I haven't wanted to do eBay, um, but I got a surplus of watches um, and it actually did pretty good on there. These are cute. So here's some um, more body jewelry. This is stainless steel, more body jewelry. So it's probably safe to say, and then we have some more well, a lot of these are sterling silver, which is nice. The, um, the body jewelry. Some more of these. So a whole bag of probably duplicates of the Claire's kind of type. So I'm going to put these back in here and we'll dig in the bag for what else we can find. So you see the bag going right up from the top. We have this uh, choker style with a uh, plastic little <laughs> charm here. Have this. So firmly secures and supports your earrings. Right on. We have this, which looks like it may be broken. Oh, it's bendy. Maybe it's a cup. Maybe it's a cup. I'm just gonna jump it. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> Got a pink little um, memory wire, but the um, the colors on the beads are coming off. So I'm going to junk this one too. Junk it. Got this. It says fun pressions, three tear and share for your twins. And someone's already gotten to one of the tear and shares. So it looks like we have a kitty cat. This is definitely a kid's lot for sure. Um, and then here's some cake earrings, which I'm going to do that. Some puppies. Yep. Got a, oh yes. Is this for a dog? Maybe. Or a cat. Or a kid. Chokers are not me. Let's go ahead and toss this one. Thank goodness. <laughs> they did say they accessories. They did say accessories. So. <laughs> yeah, a lot of stuff. This one looks like another. So this one says da -da -da, Mimi. Mini. Why do you do that? I honestly. No, I know better. Uh, broken piece. This is a brooch. Fashion Nova. I've always wanted to try their clothes. This is, oh, it's a body accessory. It goes past down your chi chis and uh, stop teasing body chains is what it's called. Fashion Nova. Hey, oh. Wonderful. Uh, <laughs> I have a bunch of laughs. A bunch of laughs. I have um, opened up a Mercari. I have my Poshmark, um, but man, Poshmark, I hate sharing all that stuff. It's so time consuming and the shipping is outrageous. I get a lot of stuff. This is cool. However, I think it is broken, um, which is why it's probably in the bag, but I've gotten a lot of really cool stuff from Poshmark. It's just, it's real expensive. 
Ooh, got these gems. <laughs> Pink, purple, and green. Got another choker style that I would have probably worn in the 2000s. <gasps> Tell me you guys remember these. Junk. Got, um, this is from Walmart. Five dollar. Earrings. And all of its glory. We got this. Which someone poured their heart and soul into making this one. Posh is so expensive. Um, I, I have opened up a Macari, like I said, but I haven't listed or I haven't done anything with them yet. So um, we'll see how it goes. I'm kind of nervous about spreading myself so thin on the, you know, the social medias and stuff or the oh Zenzil is, it looks like it's part of that um, one because of the, the little ball. Um, these look like it's a broken piece as well, but it's got a really cool looking ring in here. So I'm gonna, this is, this is one of those um, like plastic or like it could be an eraser. <laughs> Wearable erasers. This says loft and tailor, but it kind of looks like, and it also says express in there. So it's like a hodgepodge of things. We got this one. And then this just looks like a like a exploded bix. So <clears throat> I'll go through that. This will this will definitely be craft for sure. A lot of stuff I think that will be craft. This is ooh body jewelry. Literally stick on rhinestones. <laughs> Where's the good stuff? Here's the Not here. <laughs> another one of these magic fix. Is that an it says crowning touch collections made in Taiwan. It looks like it's um brass and a paper holder. You know what I mean? A giant clip. Giant clip. Doesn't go to your hair. Not your yeah, hair. Not hair. Uh, that's interesting. This one. Little bow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, fun story about these is my husband and I, like, one of the first years we got married, we were so excited because we moved into our own place and it was going to be Halloween soon. And um, we were looking high and low for rings like this because we got a bunch of latex gloves and we filled spiders. them with candy. We were looking for spiders. We were looking fine spiders. Whatever. So we, we were looking those. for these and spiders and um, so that we could put the rings on the latex gloves and hand them out as Halloween, like, you know, instead of a handful of candy for the trick-or-treaters. But sadly, we bought like a whole bunch of stuff and we didn't get any trick-or-treaters. The neighbor, neighbor thought it was a joke because we left it on his uh, screen and he thought it was a joke. You got a mirror. It's really cute. Here you go. 25 cents. Ceramics. Yes. I wonder if this will fit my phone. Um, pink skies up ahead is what that says. Interesting. It's kind of dirty. This is. It's a personal one. Is it? Put it on a table. Hold your purse so it's on the Do floor. more of what makes you happy is what that says. This part sits on the table. That hooks on your Okay. Arm. 
Well, it did say accessories. Oh, we got a seed bead like uh, hair accessory. It says France on it, which really doesn't mean anything to me. I'm going to tip the box on its side. Looks like. Busted. These beads feel like glass, so I'm definitely going to put them in the craft lot. And so my husband knows more about purses and accessories than I do, I guess. Um, this is going to be garbage because this is just bent to bananas. And then this is going to be craft. I'm going to throw that away. Darling, dear. This is cool. Uh, I think I probably owned beads like this when I was um, in my heyday. Right? Um, memory wire. A the monkey. I know it's a monkey, but um, is it on a for a wall or like cabinet? It doesn't have. He has a butt. So it's like, just a hook. It's just a hook. This is a monkey hook. A monkey hook. Maybe it's a purse hook. Monkey mm -hmm. purse hook. Uh, yeah. Who knows? Paracord with a resin heart. A broken piece, which is a butterfly with rhinestones. This looks like amethyst. So this may look like it may be the thing that saves this whole lot here. I kind of feel like I should have unboxed this and it would have been a real change. Like, hey guys, look at all my craft stuff. Yeah, so that's amethyst. It's ice cold. It is a bracelet that exploded because there is a toggle in there too. Yeah, you should have unboxed this because... I, I didn't pick this out. No, I just got filler. You did. You certainly did. I picked it because it was the right price. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Now More I'm balls. the one embarrassed. Hi, hi. Uh, this is Trailer Trash Tammy. Um, I love her. Uh, she is hilarious. She's on YouTube. Um, and I bought some of her shirts. I've actually bought a couple of her shirts because Show more I love it. it. She's so got it's a beer in her hand. yeah, she's got a Paps Blue Ribbon in her hand. It's the Mona Lisa. She's doing a play on the Mona Lisa. Um, she's definitely raunchy humor. So if you're not into cuss words, cigarette smokes, anything to do with trailer trashing, um, trailer trash, don't watch her stuff. Um, but she's hilarious, and I think she's real down to earth. Um, I love it. I love her. Um, this is a glittery mess. Another uh, bundle of earrings. This one says a dollar on it. Rhinestones. And this one says Hannah Montana. Why should you want this? Fun fact, my husband loves Hannah Montana. Uh, no. I like Billy Ray Cyrus because he says nacho cheese ha 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 but he was the dad on the show and i watched it because he was so funny i have not watched any of her most recent if i had to choose recent between no listen um if trailer trash tammy oh, okay. if i had to um watch chelsea which is her like legit real life name or trailer trash tammy i'd watch chelsea i think chelsea's more funny i think she's more real um I would love to be her friend, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people would love to be her friend. Um, but no, I haven't seen. I love her cooking ones, though. Her cooking videos are hilarious when she talks about splurging. So now I splurge. Um, this is a one of those um, rubber. But the charm is actually really cute. It says art on it. Does it open up? Yeah, it's articulated. It opens up, and it's a little palette. So I might hold on to the little charm because it's cute. But as far as everything else, literally junk it. So holding on to the charm. Not throw that away. We're in our throat air. And this is in a bag, which I'm kind of afraid to take it out, but I did. Um, some horrible. Oh, it looks like it's fine. It's a multi-layer one. Seed beads. Yeah, doesn't appear to be in. Hi, Bob. Tangled. Yeah, I probably didn't want to get tangled. 
month. I missed, um, last night I was so busy working. I missed the latest episode of RuPaul's Drag Race. I was so upset. Um, and I'm trying to stay off of Instagram because I do not want them to give away who got eliminated last night. Um, so anyways, these are some butterfly clips. Yes. Um, I may have to hold on to these because these are sick. Um, this is a headband. So watch out. We're going to have a, <laughs> a, craft a craft lot coming up hot. This is one of those slap -ums. These are This is a big one. This will fit a plus size slap wrist. Oh, mermaid man. life for life. That's mermaid vibes. But it's also a ruler. <gasps> oh my god, I may have to hold on to this. It's I'll never, school. I'll never lose this. My wrist hurts so bad. Oh, that just doesn't you didn't good. do it. Right. I didn't do it good. I'm a horrible person. Ying Yang. I'm all about that. Um, this I'm is on the suede. Things from uh, measuring tape. What? These things are made out of measuring. So nine out of ten. It's okay. Fun. Looks like we have, aw, someone, photos. someone's photos. Hold your pictures. This is actually really cool. Um, I'm gonna put this in the craft lot because it's falling apart, but this is actually really cool. It's like a um, thingamajig. It's a bracelet that has a- uh, For photos. Mm -hmm, for photos. Sorry, it's just saying multitasking. I'm a little <sighs> Yes. It's a portable USB. I don't know what it is. It's an garbage. electronic gadget. Piece of garbage. This is Friends Forever. It's um the infinity signed. 17 inch, 14 karat gold or sterling sterling silver. What's the big or? <laughs> That's what it says. How can you tell which one you get? <laughs> Uh, 17 inch sterling or 17 inch necklace and earrings. If I could read today, 14 karat gold or sterling silver plated brass. So keep the 14 karat gold for yourself. Give your friend the brass one. It is kind of what it seems like. Who knows? Anyways, there it is. Moonstone pop is not going to be allowed to order anymore. <laughs> Stop. This is the other half of that one earlier. He's garbage. Junk it. <sighs> yes. Does anyone remember these? Uh, since I bought this, I screen them now before I order anything. Thank remember? you. Uh, yeah, he runs stuff by me because bless his pea picking little heart. He was like, oh, I found this really cool ring. You were busy doing something and, and couldn't busy. jump online, so I bought it. And, and I should have ran it through you. First. It had all missing rhinestones on it. It was sterling silver, um, but it was missing all of the rhinestones. Because I'll look for something unique, something that's, you know, <laughs> yeah, not, different. not normal. And then I found one and I thought it was part of the pattern. I didn't read the details. Yeah. I bought it. And then Devin's all, look at the details. It says it's missing rhinestones. I was like, oh, Take Lord. a little time. Do we ever get to see Monsters Papa, Moonstone Papa? Um, Monsters? He's a... Uh, Hi, Jennifer. This is Devin's thing. It's not my thing. He's so, I mean, I think, right? You just, I just don't show your face. He's in some of my thrifting videos. And the geodes. Uh, yeah, in the geode videos. So take a look at this. I don't know what this is. This is probably a money clip for a baby. <laughs> it's a bear. It's really actually heavyweight. Hi, Vanessa. Um, I don't know. It's something. Got some more. Uh, this is opaque rhinestones. I wonder if they're glass or if they're plastic. Uh, Moonstone Papa bought a lot off of Shop Goodwill that should have stayed at Shop Goodwill. A um, lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of kid stuff. And you want um, me to show my I, face? I know. I'm going to show your face. Out of this. <laughs> no, I actually, uh, you know, since we're under quarantine and uh, Did you always have things. I'm no. silly. No, I cut. I cut my hair. I cut my bangs, and I actually dyed my hair recently. I had Wednesday, a dye it Wednesday night, ten minutes before going live with Jennifer Layton. Yeah, I was like, "Hey, oh, let's do something crazy," and I cut my bangs. And then the very next day, she colored her hair a different yeah, color. Yeah, it's because uh, it came in the mail. It's <laughs> 
<laughs> it's uh supposed to be darker, kind of looks brown, but in the, it's like a purple, like a berry. It's like a purple. it's like a dark red wine. Yeah. Red, red, what? yes, 10 minutes before, hair everywhere. Um, well, she was done 10 minutes before. She had been doing it, and it was like 10 minutes, and then she was on. Yeah, and I couldn't even do it. I had to call my mom. I'm like, Mom, I had it. I had my fingers on my hair, and I was like, Mom, should I do it? And she's all, do it. So I'm like, oh, here, mom. <laughs> Sounds good. <gasps> a magnet. Okay, so this is a magnet purse clip. Wow. Now we can do it in a bundle. <laughs> Does hubby like the bangs? Um, my husband. I didn't know she was doing it. Has she is right in very honest with me. Um, he will never lie to me in the uh, eight years that I've known him. He's never lied to me. So in that, I asked him, "Do you like my bangs?" And he says, "It makes your face look round." So I I appreciate no, the honesty. That was like a, that was like six hours after your. After you did it, I don't think you she it. popped out with tie dye tight pants with a chevron. Uh, what is it like? A, like a sweater? It just covers your shoulders. The shawl, a chevron shawl, and her bangs. And she jumped from the hallway into the uh, where I could see her and said, "Do you like it?" And I was I didn't know where to look. I was looking at her pants. I was looking at the chevron, and then she had bangs all of a sudden. And then I was like. Like what? Uh, is it the pants I'm looking? Is it the shawl? And then I realized she had cut her hair. Yeah, I confused a lot of people that night. A lot of people thought that um, you were a different. Person. I was a different person. So um, I think what really shook me is on my birthday when um, I asked the dumb question. Like I shouldn't even asked it to begin with. How old am I turning? And I got a <laughs> I got a comment that I was like, oh, time for a change on my hair. So I got this. Look at this. This is literally divorce children's place. Yeah. <laughs> divorce him. End it. Throw it away. This is actually pretty. Well, I get half this box. <laughs> <You're> gonna... <laughs> I almost spit out my <laughs> coffee all over. Oh my gosh. And I need to reheat my coffee again. Who knew? Um, I wouldn't be a mom if I didn't have to reheat my coffee like eight times. This was like India inspired. Look at this. Wow. You're not. Every single lot, we're going to have to run it past me. I have this. <laughs> this was the very first one. This is actually cute. This could be the thing. Uh, this is. <laughs> it's because of the trauma. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this is Disney. <clears throat> Excuse me. Coffee frog. Y'all ever have coffee frogs? I'm yeah, if you wouldn't mind. So I this don't is want, Disney. Don't divorce me. He cries, don't. <laughs> don't divorce me. Uh, I like having him on. He's a funny guy. Ooh, this is some. I'll go through this one. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. We are coming to the end. <gasps> OJ's glove. <laughs> it don't fit. <laughs> Doesn't it fit. <laughs> it has little. Uh, Laurel, it's very it's tiny. And you know, it's actually it might be vintage. It smells vintage. It's a driving glove. Um, and it actually looks like it's in pretty good shape, to be honest. Um, it's a driving glove. Are you sure it's a driving glove? A driving glove? Driving glove? Driving glove? Uh, yeah, I can't divorce till quarantine anyway. I mean, he could probably move into a backyard, but a whole backyard. A whole backyard. You can have it. So here it is. Oh, Jay's glove. Yeah, we only have one. Oh, it could be a riding glove. Or it, just it could be any. Another matchy Here's one. another matchy matchy. Uh, Hannah, Montana. Hannah Montana. I didn't watch Hannah Montana. Here it is. A bobby pin. You throw that away in the garbage. Yeah. I feel like I need to whisper it. What does this say? Cusco? Yeah, it says Cusco. Cusco. This like from scene. the Emperor's New Group. This is a cave. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well. And a dog collar. <laughs> it is a dog collar. I was looking at the chat. So we have an empty box. 
Thank and, goodness. Uh, thank God, because that was Get that was rid tough. of that guy. Um, this is a bunch of seed beads. Dueling glove, yes, for slapping. I'll take it off like what oh, Bugs Bunny did. There's one, two, three, four, and then yeah. Bugs Bunny. Okay, um, so this is some kind of natural stone. Or not natural stone. Who am I kidding? Um, this is like uh, wood or shell. Natural stone. I'm so used to saying it. Um, and this is like a paracord. Someone made it. Someone poured their heart into a lot of these things. So there's that. And then we have a bag left. And um, I don't know if anyone will be interested, but I acquired a few things um, that I can show on here. Oh, this is cute. This looks like a Lisa Frank. It does. Wow. Little cute little guy. But it it's just like the it's friends half. portion. Of yeah. it. There's a magnet. That connects the other thing. Yeah. Here's a, it's a really good craft one. This one I think is dyed highlight. The little They're um, skulls. They're cool. little skulls. These are cute. I've gotten like a handful of things that are actually <gasps> I want a big J. Hey Jennifer, we just bought the eggs from the yeah from I, the store, the plastic yeah. ones, the ones that are <laughs> yeah. Pre-made. She's gonna do a a virtual um, Easter. Easter egg I hunt. Saw. This is garbage. Um, actually, I'm, they have ransoms in it. Yeah, so they're gonna have a virtual Easter egg hunt, which I'm really excited about. I have no clue oh, how that how that's gonna work, but I'm jazzed. Um, and I'm happy, and I can't wait to see what y'all do. So. I'm done with the lot, but I'm going to show you some things that I actually got from somebody yesterday, some more inventory. And these items are for sale. I was going to do a pop-up sale on them, but since this didn't take literally any time at all, uh, I'm going to show them to you. And I'll be showing them to you. I'll give you the specs, the dimensions, the uh, information on them. And uh, they'll be up for sale. Um, you can email me. You can let me know in the comments if you're interested. This is kind of like a flash sale, I guess. Um, if you're interested. A lot of stuff that I had ended up getting from somebody um, to give me some inventory. So pull you in a little bit closer. And I'll get to showing you as my husband does all that stuff in the trash. I have this. Belova, brand new, in the box. This retails on eBay for between $30, still has the tag. It's currently running. I'll go ahead and show the face. So this retails between $30 and $50. I'm going to be selling this item for $25, if anyone is interested, it comes with all the stuff, all of this, including the box. You'll buy the J one. <laughs> okay. Email me. And uh, so I don't forget. I'm a horrible. I just, uh, yeah. So this one is a Belova watch. And then I have this one, which I do believe is vintage. This is another watch. This one does not have a battery in it, um, but it is new. It's quartz. It's the gold chunk. This one retails, well, it went sold for $17 on eBay. So I'm going to be asking $12 for this watch. And those are the watches I have. Hi, Barbie. I have some silver. And I'll be showing them and putting the prices on here. Um, a lot of this needs to be polished. A lot of this I just got fresh yesterday. yesterday. Literally just went through, tested everything. Um, and yeah. So first thing straight out the bag that I got is this beautiful. This is all sterling silver with green rhinestones. This has not been polished. It's got quite a bit of patina on it. The mark for sterling is on the leaf. 
right here. It says sterling. And I'm probably going to do this one, um, sell it for 35. There's a lot of sterling. The clasp functions properly. So if you're interested, email me. The next thing is another brooch. This one appears to be like rhodium plated um, because of the high shine. It has a uh, glass. These are CZs and an amethyst glass. <gasps> she got to bring her baby home. Oh, well, it, I mean, oh my gosh. The first couple of days of being a first time mom is like the hardest ever. I'm sure every single woman on here who has pushed one out can attest to that. <laughs> so thank goodness all is well. This one right here, it says 925 right on the back. I was like, if you're going to cough, just cough it out. That was a yawn. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. But I'm a loud yawner and a loud anything. Except mumbling. talking. He's oh, not yeah. allowed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, my, my daughter came out so fast um, that, sure, that um, she had swallowed basically a newborn stomach uh, full of amniotic fluid. And um, it was so, I brought her into the room, peaceful, everything was chill. And she just started gagging. And I'm she like, there's no way that she can start gagging. So it was so scary. I can't even imagine. I could, I can imagine just a teensy bit of what you're going through because that was, I didn't sleep for like, probably like two weeks after she was born because just stressed out. <laughs> so this guy right here, I'm going to be asking $18 for. Again, I'm just showing some stuff. If you're interested, feel free to email me. I'm just kind of showing what I have and doing like kind of like a flash sale, if you will. Um, but I figured I would show what I got recently. So I have some rings. I have some pendants. Um, so we'll go from there. Yeah. Just, just them all out. So I have these, which are um, clip-on earrings. These are sterling silver. And again, these have not been polished. The majority of these items haven't been polished. If I have polished them, I run them over just to see if they have um, a stamp or anything on them. This is faux amber. Um, a lot of the sediment and the darker, um, what I really had to run for my money for these pieces. I have two pieces of faux amber earrings. Uh, awesome tip I'd love to share with you guys if you're interested um, is if you don't know if a piece of amber is real or not, um, of course, you can use your black light and shine it through um, and see if there's a high shine. It won't show a blue anymore. The amber will glow. But I did that test and it glowed. And I was like, okay, but I, I mean, sounds like plastic to me. So another way I found to determine if it's actually resin or true amber is a heat test. You take a safety pin, you heat it up, and you stick it through the piece in an inconspicuous place so that you're not going to just pop it right in the center. Um, and if you heat it up, and it smells chemically, it is resin. If it smells sweet, it is amber. So I definitely encourage you to do your research in regards to all of that. Um, but that was one way that I determined that these were faux amber and not real amber because they had some dark sediment on here and it looked like real amber. So um, these, however, are sterling silver um, and they're beautiful nonetheless. Um, doesn't take that away, but uh, I always like to share what I learned with you guys. And I don't like destroying things. Um, and a lot of times when you have to look and determine, a lot of times it's like a destroying test, but um, this I poked in inconspicuous places and you wouldn't even be able to tell. So these right here, I'm going to be asking 15 for them since they are in, um, yes, they did. They glow. Um, I will show my my black light here. I always lose my black light, but, um, thank you. Um, so I will show you through my just regular led light that they glow. You can see the glow there. 
Now here's the black light, black light, and they glow. So that was usually a telltale on how I was, how I would determine if something was real amber or not. But since it both glowed the same with regular UV light and black light, I decided to look further through my loop, this, and um, I was looking for sediment. Um, you're going to want to look for darker parts because amber is natural. It's sap. So, um, no. Another 100% best way to tell, heat it up. Like I said, take a pin, prick it through, and if it smells, if it stinks, then it is resin. Um, if And you'll be able to tell almost immediately when you put that pin through. If it has a sweet smell, it is amber. There's a few other ways that you can determine if it's real amber or not. I definitely recommend you do a hot, wet Google on it. Um, but dish, dish, dish. So um, these right here, these clip-on earrings, sterling silver, resin, made to look like they really tripped me. Um, I don't want to touch my face, but I just did. Um, are um, I'm going to be asking $15 for these. So if you're interested, shoot me an email. Yeah, and if there's more one than one way to test something, yeah, do that too, so that you can hundred percent check all. Your Don't boxes. take my word for it. Look it up yourself. Go to a jeweler. Go to a jeweler. That's the absolute tell tale. Okay, so another one that completely stumped me up is these. These are sterling silver. Uh, these are stamped nine two five. You can see the nine two five here, stamped sterling silver. They have the patina of sterling silver. These look like amber. They have a lot of bubbles. The thing that was really kind of interesting to me was the black enamel backing. I put the UV light to it. I put the black light to it. They both glowed. I did a prick test and look, they even, they even sound different. There's that one. And here's the clip ones. Here, this one kind of sounds like a plastic sound, but that shouldn't, Amber's, that, that's not going to make a difference. To me, when I was deducing. Because yeah, all sap is different. Yes. From different areas, different, different trees, locations. Yeah. But that to me was a telltale. So really do your research. Look at it. Feel it. Touch it. Smell it. Look through it in a loop. I did the pin test on these. Faux Amber. Not real. A lot of the, I'll bring these a lot closer so you can see a lot of the bubbles are huge. A lot of huge bubbling. Big piece. And this one didn't have a lot of different color differentiation in the sediment. It was all just one kind of color combo. The bubbling, it was very glittery. Um, so again, Bow Amber, not real. Um, but these are inset in sterling silver. And if you were a crafter, it has a hole up top here, right throughout here. You can see my skin throughout here. So really, if you wanted to embellish these, you absolutely can. But again, same as before, these are inset in sterling silver. I'm going to be asking $15 for these. So if you're interested, shoot me an email. I have some uh, sterling 950 sterling. So you can see here, silver 950. These are uh, Asian inspired floral cufflinks. They function properly here. They turn and turn. They have quite a bit of patina on them. Um, I have uh, done my best to polish them, but um, they still have quite a bit of patina. I really need to work at these. So yeah, 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 yeah. These right here sold on eBay for about 13, $13. Um, they were, they were excellently shined up. I'm going to be asking 10 for these. And these were 950 silver. Uh, another cufflinks that I have are swank. They are Swank Sterling. There's the Swank. And the Sterling. Let me give you a better shot 
of it. I really um, had to do minimal polishing on these. Um, my guess is they may have some kind of rhodium plating to them um, to keep them tarnish free. Um, I'm not 100% certain about Swank too much. I'm not familiar with a lot of men's jewelry. Um, this one did sell for a higher price than the previous ones. I'm going to be asking $20 for these uh, since these are Swank and these are Sterling. Um, cufflinks, really great condition. They've got a bend to them. So yeah, 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 these ones. Email me if you're interested. Um, another brooch that I forgot to show was this one. And I actually did a little bit of research about this one. This is um, an award you received in the military for marksmanship. Um, obviously, it has an ability to add more should the rank increase from my research. Um, but this one does say sterling on the back here. Um, this sold on eBay for about five bucks. Um, so I'm going to be asking three dollars for this so i believe peanut butter goes well with jam and it's deli delicious regardless of what you say she likes crunchy peanut butter i love crunchy jam. peanut butter so thanks for saying so samantha appreciate it um and want which one uh jennifer let me know um got some cool pendants rock and roll pendants love crunchy peanut butter i love crunchy peanut butter on my um on my you want the metal sure three dollars that's you for sure um crunchy peanut butter on my waffles um love 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 so this guy right here um it is a pendant it is sterling silver and is a hundred poor cent patinaed out um i'm gonna show it the way I received it, um, what I would normally do is I would shine it, but I wouldn't shine it up too much. And I wouldn't even flash these because if you flash them, they're just, they're going to turn completely white. And you want to see some of the dimension. But this is sick. This is a little unicorn. His hair is like uh, really cool. It's got a large bail to it. And there's the back. So as you can see, I kind of semi sort of polished it up just a little bit, but this is a cool, unique piece. I'm going to be asking 20 for this guy. Another one that's really cool is this guy. He is majestic. It's a muscular unicorn. He is beefed out. Look at him. Stunning. Someone poured their heart and soul into this guy. I'm going to be asking $20 for him as well. When I first saw those, I thought those were like little game pieces. Yeah, I know. And you can see the bail right so here. It's a large detailed. bail. This would be perfect for a charm bracelet. This would be perfect if you're into statement and, you know, don't want to wear, you know. Um, do you have any words of wisdom to new jewelry? Research, new to research, jewelry. Yes. research, 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 research it. Don't ever take anyone's word on anything. Look it up yourself. Do your due diligence. Touch it. Feel it. Smell it. Test it. And since I'm the husband of Devin, watch her videos on how to test jewelry and figure out gemstones. Um, this is a cool, I don't know if it's a, a doe, a deer, a female a deer. I don't know who or what this is. I'm not a, uh, a hunter or a huntress, but this is an aminal. It's got a large bail. It is sterling silver. Uh, no, I will not lick these. Well, you know, he said if that's a book. All right. Well, thank you. Good, sir. Um, here it is. You want your trophy to last forever? Here it is. Uh, this is stamped 925 itty bitty teeny weeny little polka dot bikini uh, right here. It has a large bail. Be perfect for a charm. Be perfect for a necklace if you're into that. Hang it on your knife. You're cutting open one of these guys. Let it dangle. Do you. Jewelry is your own thing. Uh, make it your own thing. I'm going to be asking $20 for this as well. And then this guy is uh, 
a sailboat. Makes me think of that one sailing, that song, sailing away. That one. Take me away. Yep, it's good. So it's a sailboat. It's got a lot of intricate uh, designs on here. I'll try to bring it as close as I can. Intricate looping of the sterling. It's got a little flag here. It could be a pirate ship. It could be whatever your heart's desire to be. But to me, it just kind of looks like a sailboat. Um, it does not have a stamp on it, but it is sterling silver. Um, I'm going to be asking $12 for this. Okay, I have two pendants that in my research is St. Christopher. It is an older guy holding a kid. As far as uh as far as what this is, I haven't done too much research about him, but I have two sterling silver pendants of St. Christopher. Uh this one up here again, I have not shined them very much up, but you can see the detailing of a dude holding a, a child. Um, and then this one says Sterling on the back here and PPC. And then we have this one here that I did do a little bit of shine on it because I wanted to see what the heck it says. But it says St. Christopher Protects. So I have these two. I'm going to be selling them for $20. Okay. Okay. On to the pendants, which I'm like, oh, is this one. I'm going to go ahead and show you the back. It has a T number on it. It is Mexico 925. This is a whopping lot of sterling. As for the natural, for both, $20 for both. Um, as for the, um, as for the stone, I'm not 100% certain. To me, um, it doesn't, it may be dyed. I don't believe that it is amethyst. I was thinking, um, okay, Jennifer wants the two St. Christopher for $20. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, I do not, I do not believe, I don't know if this is a real stone or not. Let me go ahead and get this in focus. My apologies, guys. Um, it's stunning. It's pretty. Um, it's beautiful. I was thinking that it was some sort of obsidian, as you can see the clear movements in there that looks sort of kind of like quartz a little bit, but you know, I'm not a hundred percent certain this is, it quite possibly can be, it's very smooth. Um, and it has a bit of pink to it. I was thinking that it possibly could be, but it's not lepidolite at all. So I'm not a hundred percent sure more research upon this, but the, um, amount of silver and it is a, Mexico 925. I'm going to be asking $35 for this. Another stunning Mexico 925 um, pendant is this one. I'm going to go ahead and show you the Mexico 925 and this right here. This is dyed magnesite. Um, in my opinion, there's, there's, I don't, I don't know what else it could be other than that. This is dyed. Um, it's stunning. There's a whole heck of a lot of silver in this. Um, it is Mexico 925, large bale, hangs down quite low, covers my Chelsea and, um, or my Tammy rather. And um, I'm going to be asking the same $32 for this. Um, this one right here looks definitely artisan. It has a beautiful braiding. It has kind of, it, it is beat up. It's beat up a bit. I'm not going to lie. Um, you can see heavily the back warm. heavily warm. There's, um, thanks Elijah. Sorry. Sheesh, this guy. Um, there's the pendant part about it. There is, it has some native American inspiring. If, if I had to guess this may possibly be Cinderella turquoise. Um, that's my first glance, first thought about it. Um, it's hard since it has a closed back to do any kind of testing on this stone. Um, my next plan of attack to test the stone is to scratch it on some glass to see about the hardness. Um, but 
this appears to look this way. This does not have a stamping. Hi, Charlotte. It doesn't have any stamping on here. This has been acid tested sterling silver. But this right here, I'm going to be asking $32 for it as well. And this one, oh. check that out. This is beautiful. Wait until it focuses. Hello, Mr. Cameraman. Malachite. Stunning Navajo Native American inspired pendant with stunning Malachite. No way. It easily can be manipulated to, this is like an enhancer kind of piece. Uh, you can just take it and curl it under to make it more of a stable piece here. Um, beautiful bezel set, scalloped. Um, I currently am waiting on my shipment of chains right now. Um, so if you wanted to wait later to get it on a chain currently, no, I will be just selling the pendant as is without the chain. Um, and you can check on Etsy. You can check on eBay. A lot of these items go for a lot more than what I'm, I'm listing them as right now, the natural gemstones, um, sometimes up, up there in price. Um, but that's, that's what I'm saying. So, uh, yeah, this one right here is marked sterling. And here it is. You know what? This is resin. I wish it was regular Malachite. I uh, trying really hard not to click it against my teeth right now. It's resin. Yeah, I found a really great uh, bundle on eBay. Uh, this is resin. This is not real stone. I wish it was Malachite. I wish it was real Malachite, um, but it is not. It's very lightweight. For that fact, I'm just going to be asking $20 for this. I, like I said, I purchased these. I got these yesterday. I did not purchase these. I received these yesterday um, and looks really good for resin. Yes, it does. It took my breath away. Um, but yeah, I'm still figuring these out. I was going to post a pop-up sale for these, but I figured I might as well just show them and see what I got. But I love to be honest and straight up. Um, I don't like to... Um, make anything bigger than what it is. I just want to be honest. So I've got this one. Beautiful stone here. And it's a sterling silver ring. It is adjustable, which is fantastic. Right now it is sitting at a size like nine and a half. It's a beautiful piece of turquoise, stunning. Um, since this is adjustable, it can fit smaller, it can fit larger. I'm gonna be asking $32 for this. This is in fact a real stone. I could feel that it is a real stone. <laughs> and there it is. It is not stamped, but it is acid tested sterling silver. Um, this one is a small one. It is a size five, but it is crushed in set turquoise and coral. This is Native American inspired. Again, this is a size five. I'm going to be asking $20 for this. Pretty thick too. I got another big one. It appears to me that this guy might have been um, sized up at one point. I can tell you why I think that because of this right here. Um, it's just a flat surface. And on the inside here, there it looks on the inside. I do believe that this has been sized up. So this is one of those ones that you'd probably want to wear with this side facing down, but it is Celtic in design. In my opinion, it does have a bit of a gapping right here in the design work. 
Um, so with that being said, um, since this is sterling silver, since there is, it is a size nine, I'm going to be asking $18 for this. Disclosing all that information. There's gaps in the line work here. $18. I have this one. I think it's really fun, actually, if I had to say. Um, it's like a rainbow. Uh, sterling silver. It is marked 925 on the inside. The, um, the size is a dead-on size 7. It is super cute. Really, really, really pretty. It has green, blue, clear, orange, red, the whole rainbow encased in CZs. It is a size seven, dead on size seven. I know I said that already, but I'm going to say it again. It is marked 925 on the inside. Let me see if I can get it on here for you guys. Right there, 925. It's a stunner. I love it anywhere you wear it. And it's a full eternity band. Um, I'm going to be asking $20 for this. Um, I've got this one, which is a dead on size eight. It does need to be polished. It's got some really pretty, I think it's a, I think it's called, um, this ring is called something, but it says love on there. It is a size. What did I say? What is this? Size eight. I'm going to be asking $20 for this. Love. Signet. Signet ring. Signet ring. Yes. Got this one. This is a big one. This is almost a size 11. It's a honker. He's a honk honk. So... 10 and three quarters, almost 11. It's got four bands coming up to three balls. We've got a big ball and two little balls. Very fun. I'm going to try it on for S's and G's. There it is. Very fun. Very uh, abstract. Very interesting. Um, I'm going to be asking 25 for this one. Very cool. It is not stamped on the inside, but it's pretty tight. I saved the best for last on the rings because this one was literally too cool for school. Um, this is, I'll show you, it's almost a size 12. I'm gonna put it on my hand because it, it won't do justice on the mandrel. I just can't, it's huge. You wanna put it on your hand? Yeah. It's a friggin' dragon. Friggin' dragon, man. And it's got, I believe, Chrysocola. Put it on your finger, Elijah. It's don't pop up. It's like this, right? Yeah. So that right there, I'm going to be asking 45 for this. Whole heck of a lot of silver. It's got some gold over. Um, it's got chrysocolla bezel inset with some braiding around the bottom of the bezel. The eyes are freaking gold tone, dude. Like, I mean, seriously, this is sick. Wait until it. Yeah, look at that. All the scroll work around it. It has an Asian inspired feel to it. Um, stunning work. Someone literally took the time to make this hot and friggin' poppin'. So this right here, $45. Um, I'm probably going to be uh, putting this on Etsy because this right here is, is one of a kind. Um, it's nuts. Sick. Um, it's lightweight considering you want to take it off. It's lightweight considering, um, you know, how much silver it is. So my guess it's hollow. Oh, and there is how it fits on the hand. Um, so it definitely has, uh, it has two holes right here. As you can see, there's holes here. So if you really wanted to, you can wear it as a pendant and it will point down. So you definitely can see maximum, um, 
artisan maximum design detail work. detail work there it is words escape me so it's beautiful it's got beautiful scale work here it's just stunning and this beautiful chrysocolla love it definitely a sick piece and for me it sits like this it's it's big it's a big guy but somebody on etsy will pay money for that but you get choice first there they it don't is. sell here it's going there 100 percent. so might as well last two items i have are da, 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 da. i have these and i'm going to try putting them on my hands and it never works out for me and I'm going to do my best because the best is all we can do. I shined up one of them, but the other one needs to be shined up. These are Puff Hearts Sterling Silver. And we have some Disney Sterling Minnie Mouse post back gold tone earrings. So I'm going to be asking 15 for these, 15 for these. And that's it. That's what I got yesterday. And um, I don't know. Um, I'm I'm not. I definitely have some lots coming. I'm really excited about it. But, um, you know, to keep the inventory up, it kind of gets hard sometimes, especially with this whole pandemic. I definitely recommend that if you're on, um, if you're looking at Shop Goodwill, before you bid on something, look and see if that shop goodwill is open. Um, I had some, <laughs> I had a really huge lot coming. At least I thought it was coming. Um, and they said they were going to ship it out April 7th. I messaged them because it was April 9th. And I was like, Hey dogs, where's my stuff? And they're like, due to the pandemic, we're closed until the 7th of May, possibly until further. So I'm like, Great. but, um, Still, with the stuff we get, it's fun. If not a lot of craft lots. Like I said before, I opened up an eBay. Um, and that's been really cool to sell a lot of my craft lots on there. Um, as you know, I never put caca in my craft lot. I always put good quality stuff in my craft lot, I guess I would I would say. Workable stuff. Workable stuff. Stuff that's not just you're just going to dump it in the trash. Something that you could definitely use pieces on. But um I saw, since I'm a noob on the Shop Goodwill, obviously, um, there's a thing where he says, uh, calculate the shipping price. You can see where it's coming from if you hadn't already saw that. Yeah. And then you can see, oh, uh, maybe their post office is closed. Maybe yeah. want to double check on that. Yeah. Um, because every day something is either opening up or closing up depending yeah. on the restrictions with the government. This is a weird time right now. And it could be kind of difficult for people who are resellers. She just um, opened up an I eBay. just opened up an eBay. I've sold like maybe five things on there just yet. I was very cautious to open up my eBay or open up an eBay in general because um, I've heard, I've had nothing but really horrible experiences on eBay. As far as you could probably look at one of my past videos um, I purchased a lot, so juiced and excited about it, and it was not at all what the description said. Thankfully, eBay has your back on a lot of stuff like that, and they refunded my money. It was great, but still, I, I'm not a confrontational person. That's not my jam. I'm a big pushover. Um, I'll say yes a lot of times, even when I don't want to. Um, so that's that's a personal flaw, but I'm working on it. Um, so anyways... That's that. That's what's going on. I still got a lot of stuff that I need to test, a lot of stuff I need to sort out. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm always available via email. I'm wearing my lobsters today. I actually changed my pants today. Uh, I'm not wearing the same sweatpants as I wore yesterday. So we're living our best life. Um, I sent out a majority of the packages um, from monday and wednesday's auction yesterday um i have a hard time sometimes um i'll say oh, i'm gonna ship out on thursday and then i go to you know get everything ready to ship out and then i get a surplus of people to ship uh or who purchases or uh, sends their money in through invoice pays pays after I get done putting everything back for shipping. Um, and, uh, so that can be kind of frustrating sometimes, not that I get paid at all, but, um, the constant shipping. So basically 
what I'm trying to say is that I've changed my distribution day to Fridays. So I will package everything up. You should get an email notification that your item has shipped on Fridays instead of the usual Thursdays, just it gives everyone a, a little bit more time to pay. Um, you know, thanks. Um, I'd love to know what you guys are having for dinner. It's my favorite part to ask when I go live. She asked because she wants ideas because by the time six o'clock rolls around, we're still trying to figure out what's for dinner. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I don't have anything um, else to say. Um, does anyone have any requests? <laughs> I'll take requests. I won't sing for you. However, I still have a major coffee frog. Um, thanks so much, Michelle. Appreciate that. Um, if anyone wants to see anything. <laughs> Eggs in a blanket, mac and cheese. That sounds actually really great. Oh, Chinese food. So good. I love Chinese. I love the chow mein. I'm not a professional. I, um, as you may uh, see in a lot of my auctions, I don't do well with um, when people ask me to ship to different locations. I am such a, a list kind of person. I don't know if that's type A or type B, but I literally cannot um, like handle subcategories of things. I'm very much, I have to stick with the story. Yeah, it's kind of like, who paid? Okay, going to them. Yeah. We can't go back and say, oh, it's, but they're going over here. Yeah, yeah, that is so tough for me. Because um, uh, we got two kids. Oh, I guess I could show. I don't know if it is a, I'm so sick of cooking too. I mean, honestly, I was telling, I told my husband yesterday, I'm like, listen, I want pizza. Like, <laughs> I don't need pizza. You never need pizza. But I was like, I'm sick of cooking. Oh my gosh. I got something yesterday, which I, not yesterday, it was the day before. Do you want to get the thing on the thing, Majay? Um, whether it was a mistake or not, I've emailed the lady three times because um, I've, I've had people send me stuff, but this right here was nuts. Um, I've purchased from her before on Poshmark and she makes her own jewelry. Um, I got this stunning labradorite pendant. You see the flash on that? It's probably kind of hard to see with the, but it's a beautiful blue flash. It's hand stamped by her. She made it. I've purchased her items before, but literally, I'm like, I didn't buy this from you. You may have sent it by mistake. Please, for the love of cheese and crackers, let me know <laughs> what I can do to send this back to you. And if the, you know, um, a return to sender is the correct one, because this is a Labradorite pendant. This is expensive. This is a large pendant. I have a huge Labradorite and um, I like, I just crazy. I, I definitely don't want to uh, mess this up and I can't, in my right mind, hold on to this without like messaging her. So I messaged her like four times, like, Hey, I have your Labradorite. <laughs> Please let me send it back to you. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to, uh, probably film a, I don't think I'm going to film anymore since I did that flash sale. There's no need to film. I'm just rambling at this point. I've got nothing going on. Uh, if you guys like to see more stuff, I can show you more stuff. I have more stuff. I have a lot of stuff. Maybe it's a surprise gift. I don't. And I, speaking of surprise gifts, after I got off the auction, I went and looked up that, what is it called? Mm -hmm. uh, it's class starts with an S, the check, stimulus check. Because Jennifer, I didn't believe you. Um, I was like, there's no way that that's, that's a real thing. And literally I went to irs.gov. It's a legit thing. Uh, for those of you out there, Devin wasn't really, uh, oh, she was still young when the first, not first, but the last stimulus check was out there. So she didn't think it was a real thing. She thought it was like when we say a snipe or the tooth fairy or the Easter. Oh, wait, sorry. Our daughter's listening. 
those are real things. But she thought it was fake and she had to research. But yes, stimulus checks do exist. And she found out the other day. Yeah. So, yeah, I found out. So that's really cool. I'm excited for that. We'll see how that goes. Um, I don't know. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to probably go through, clean some stuff, list a bunch of stuff on Etsy. I've got some stuff. Um, and uh, go from there. See how it goes. Um, but I hope everyone has an amazing weekend. I hope um, you got yours already. It's on a state by state, county oh, yeah. by county. You know, some people know. Get, got it already. Some are still waiting. Some won't get it. I don't know. It's it's all to gamble. Yeah, I don't know. So, anyways, I'm I'm probably going to sign off here unless anyone wants to see anything else. Huh. Okay. Well, that's great, Michelle. Um, cool. All right. Well, so if anybody's rewatching this video and is yeah. interested in the items, please yeah. let Devin know. Let me know. I got a really, a lot of cool rings. And, um, I mean, the dragon one takes the cake for me. This is stunning. Sick. It's unusual. I love stuff like that. You're not. I gonna... would purposely pay and put that paint ring finger out and say, "Here's the money," just so they could see it. Bam. Dragon. Dragon. <laughs> there's this one, um, and then there's this one. The turquoise rings. Love adjustable rings. This is the beginning. Oh, that was nothing. That was you know nothing. what? We're just gonna don't, go back don't, and just don't erase look it from it. our just, memory. It's horrible. It's bad. Uh, so Papa decided that he was gonna help me. Um, by looking on Shop Goodwill for stuff, and um, I got a lot of. Garbage. I was trying to get filler content. It took a month to get here. <laughs> by the time it showed up, it's an embarrassment to the whole jewelry community. We got some good stuff. We got a lot of laughs at me. A lot of a junk. lot of giggles. A lot of fun stuff. It's like I went to Claire's closing out. You know, Claire's a Claire's closeout bonanza. Yeah. So there's the rings. Stunning. Gotta love that. I I applaud people who can wear the rings like that. Whenever I go to the bathroom mid-auction, I have to like take off all of my rings because I can't. That kind of gives me the willies. Um, but this is sick. I'm excited about taking pictures of this. The lucky dog. Claire's will sell. Yeah, I'll probably bundle it to be honest with you. Um because I can't, but look at this. Is this what you were talking about, Charlotte? When you were talking about the uh, turquoise ring or if you wanted to see the uh, the dragon. The dragon is huge. The dragon is a size 12. Just literally, literally rambling at this point. I feel like my husband. My husband's a rambler. You feel cool? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. So, okay. Good yeah, try. That was, a, that was like a snack. That wasn't like the, the entree. I needed to just get some something out there. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right. Well, I'll bid everyone adieu. I'll see you later. I'm going to go try to watch um, RuPaul's Drag Race, the latest episode. Uh, so thanks for having a silly yeah. and safe Saturday. With uh, Moonstone Mamas and Papas. Just Mamas. This is her thing. I just try to help. I'm the sidekick. We're having fun. I'm trying to build ours. <laughs> Everyone have an amazing weekend. Happy Sunday, Easter's. Uh, check out Jennifer's. Check uh, out, yeah, check out Jennifer's. Easter? Yeah, virtual Easter. I'm so excited and pumped to see that Jennifer Layton. I have her linked in my description box because I am on there Wednesdays. Hi, Sue. So glad to see you. Just skip through the second skip half. Skip through like half of it if you're watching this on the replay. <laughs> Just gross. The Stay well. Wash your hands. Wash your butt. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.